This formation was tried in a midweek friendly at Glasgow Rangers and proved a great success. Kenny Dalgleish has moved back into midfield, leaving Ian Rush and Craig Johnston to form a new partnership and attack. It's bound to revive memories of one of Liverpool's most successful double acts ever, with six-footer Ian Rush in the role of a modern John Toshak and Craig Johnston, shorter and stockier, as the new version of Kevin Keegan. Manchester City have been forced to change their side so often this season because of injuries. The latest and most serious victim is Dennis Stewart, and his place today goes to 19 years old Steve Kinsey, playing only his second game in the first team. Kinsey played for England in the recent World Youth Championships. He's 19, comes from Manchester, and will play wide in midfield. Today's referee, Mr David Richardson of Great Harwood in Lancashire. And it'll be Manchester City in the lighter, all-blue strip who will kick off attacking from left to right. Liverpool, incidentally, 12th in the table at the moment. That's the lowest position they've been in at Christmas for many years. An early touch for Hartford, the Manchester City skipper. Donald finding Hutchison. And it'll be interesting to see just how the players cope with these conditions, having been used to frosty grounds so often recently. They're now having to change to a longer stud and a quite soft pitch. Kevin Bond. Flipped on neatly by Reeves. At least losing his touch. And uh, the first opportunity for Kinsey to show his style. Soonus. Mark Lawrenson looking for but not finding Craig Johnston and now Hartford Johnson's clearance Bond under pressure from Ian Rush and here's Ronnie Whelan and again Whelan and a bad looking ball finally cleared as far as Sunas and the 1-2 just didn't come off Here's Neil. Flipped on by Dalgleish. And the header away was by Nicky Reed. McDonald prevents it going behind for a throw, and indeed, Phil Neil awards the throw to Manchester City. Good interception by Thompson. Sunes. Lawrenson. And he got out of that situation well, and so did Thompson. Here's Dalgleish. Sunes and the linesman flagging but the referee has allowed play to continue and Dalgleish picks out Johnston beautifully well, that was a great attempt at a cross really and there's still possibilities for Whelan here's Lawrenson now Sunes Dalgleish has found space well Bond in the way and Dalgleish again Craig Johnson in a good position unmarked but Whelan can't find him stem really from the skills of this man in finding space in the penalty area before that from a marvellous cross from a poor angle by Craig Johnston Lawrence and higher than Kinsey again it's a ball for Reeves to chase and Hansen always seems to read situations like that so well there's Reeves Kinsey, it's a good cross, and Hartford's header has found the net. But the referee has disallowed the goal, I suspect because Hartford may have pushed as he climbed for that high cross. So City's celebrations cut short instantly. What a good part played in that by young Kinsey. It was a fine cross, both Hutchison and Hartford went up. The header found the corner of the net, out of Grobelaar's reach, but the referee instantly disallowed it. Deep kick that by Grobelaar. Caton reaches it. In goes Sunes. Hansen. Here's Francis. Ray Ransom. It's a good ball in behind the Liverpool defence, and Reeves is onto it. Well for the cross two, and Kinsey, uh, Hartford rather, getting in and scoring a superb goal. 
and this one will count. Well, the Liverpool defence paid the penalty then for not taking the first two opportunities to clear that ball. And as Thompson gallied on it inside his own penalty area, Hartford nipped in, took it from him and found the corner of the net. Nine minutes gone and Manchester City take the lead with the second goal of the season by their skipper, Asa Hartford. So, really, I suppose, in terms of a football match, that in many ways is the best thing that could have happened. City have taken the lead, Liverpool will now have to really come at them, and I think we might see a very entertaining match here at Anfield. <laughs> Difficult high kick, that, for Hansen. Played back in by Ransom, and that's offside against Trevor Francis. Heading it forward, here's Craig Johnston. Handled off Kevin Bond well. Not really going anywhere at the moment. Lawrenson. And Hansen. Rushes head of finding Souness. Good, brave clearance that by Reed. Here's Neil. Donald for City. Straight to Lee. And got back to uh, a vital boot in the way. And it's City's turn to be under the whip. Here's Lee. Rush. And Rush has done well in the end. Greg Johnston in the middle. And turned behind for a corner by Kevin Bond. Fifteen minutes of the first half gone then. And Liverpool win their first corner of the game. Trailing by a goal to nil against the City team who've lost their last ten visits here in the First Division. Now Leach with the kick. Lee. On the gain away. There's Neil. Not a good enough return ball, but it's still Liverpool's throw. Thompson. Oh, Craig Johnson did well, can Rush get a boot in the way? He does, and in the end it hits the side netting. The cop came swaying forward in anticipation of a goal. Rush persistent, but Corrigan also did well then. A difficult situation for the goalkeeper. Craig Johnson setting things up, and Liverpool have another corner. Dalglish again with the kick. Rush, spectacular, but way off target. Ian Rush has managed to score 10 goals in 11 games for Liverpool this season. As that now Gleish corner came over low, he tried a spectacular effort, but it was way, way wide. <laughs> Liverpool's free kick. Souness. Oh dear, that's sloppy again. Lawrence. Oh, he really had to stretch then, and it was a real hard challenge by Ray Ransom, which is going to earn him a booking. Well, Ransom and Lawrence both stretching then, and uh, it looked as though somebody was going to come out of it hurt. Unfortunately, well, nobody did, except the mental hurt for Ray Ransom, who's caution. As soon as tries the long shot, well wide. Control that was McDonald. Looked like a foul to me by uh, Phil Neal. And 
Kevin Reeves and the referee agrees. Quarter of an hour to go to half time then. City holding on to their lead. Lifted in for Hutchison. Thompson got it clear. McDonald, a good cross that. Kinsey going up. Robola reaches it, drops it, and gets it back. Well, he is erratic at times, Bruce Robola. that incident the game restarts with a free kick to Liverpool taken by their skipper Thompson looking for Hansen far side of the area away though by Caton Hutchison lovely control again Caton Kinsey see much of him after his bright start Craig Johnston a lovely ball for Dalgleish oh beautiful skill and so close to a goal well the best moment of the half by Liverpool no doubt about that Kenny Dalgleish showing that ability to make space get away from a defender and get in a telling shot though on this occasion as you can see the ball skidding just wide Head up. Jerry Gow warming up, hasn't played in the first team since the opening month of the season. Wheel and beaten by a very good tackle from Ransom, and here's Kinsey. Whoops, Hansen again, seemingly making a fatal delay, though all credit to him, really, in the end, it was a lovely piece of skill. Here's Sunes. Whelan's made a great break down the centre. The ball, oh, played straight to Dalgleish. What a mistake by Reed. And Corrigan was so close to Dalgleish that he uh, really, well, the ball hit him rather than him making a save. Reed obviously didn't see Dalgleish behind him. Dalgleish just flicked it forward straight into the chest of the city keeper. Dalgleish twice close then in a matter of minutes to a goal for Liverpool. Craig Johnson battling with Bond here. And the free kick has been given for the first challenge between those two. We were having a rare old time of it. And Bond can't believe it. So this is interesting. City have got uh, everybody back behind the ball. And a five-man wall in front of Dalgleish and Sunis. Dalgleish, that was brilliant and so desperately unlucky. Here's Neil. Peyton heads it clear. Whelan fell to the ground. There was another appeal for a penalty not given. And Dalgleish, superb with that free kick. Thompson lifting it through. And Thompson again. We can look again at that free kick in a moment as Hansen plays it through, looking for Dalgleish once more. And in the end, Caton concedes the corner. But what a marvellous piece of skill that was by Kenny Dalgleish. That free kick, all of 20 yards from goal, curled beautifully onto the crossbar. So unlucky.
the Liverpool corner then. Dalek Leash will take it. The back header by Rush, straight into the arms of Corrigan. Well, one of the reasons Bob Tesley has moved Dalek Leash into midfield is that he says he can read situations and his distribution is superb. Well, it hasn't been perhaps as good as that so far, but that shot really was. Here's Kinsey, a good tackle by Lawrence. Ransom Reeves Kinsey's helping him and again he gets a good cross in from a difficult angle and Gravelaro's dropped it at the feet of Hutchison and Hansen is there to clear and the City players are demanding that the referee awards a penalty but he won't be and Bruce Gravelaro again very very fortunate to get away with that a remarkable incident Kinsey made a tremendously good cross, but it really looked as though it was an easy one for the goalkeeper, who slipped, let the ball drop, a City player went in for it, along with Alan Hansen, went down onto the ground, and the ball ran clear, and Liverpool lucky to get away with that. So, City might have had a second goal, but it's still 1-0 in the final couple of minutes of the first half. And here's Rush and Souness. Well, well, that was well worth the try, wasn't it? William Sooners must have been 25 yards out then. Spotted Corrigan slightly to one side of his goal and uh, tried to fire it into the opposite corner a couple of feet wide. Lee getting the header through. Assistance by Lee almost paying off and he gets it back again. Ray Johnston finding Dalgleish. The through ball. The rush to Sunas. Good save, Dalgleish. Good tackle by uh, Reed, who got back so well then. Fine build up though by Liverpool. A really bright start of the second half. Lee threading the ball through. Dalgleish and then Sunas with the shot. Corrigan beat it away. And Nicky Reed deflected the ball for this corner. Lee's header. Unusual for Corrigan to uh, be caught having to overstretch like that, especially from the smallest man on the field, Sammy Lee, with that looping header. And Corrigan only just got it behind. So, as I was saying, Liverpool do love, of course, traditionally to attack the cock goal, and that's just what they're doing in the opening seconds of this second half, attacking with a vengeance. Goal to nil down. Smith. Bill Thompson. Well, not at all wrong, really somewhere on the cup where he used to stand as a school kid. Taken because Corrigan is still uh, feeling the injury. Neil's kick. 
headed be, or rather headed away by Kevin Bond. Hutchison. Kinsey. Caton. Did well. And here's Kinsey. Trevor Francis in the centre, but a long way away from Kinsey. And Manson trying a good turn of speed and winning a corner. kick is stretching Thompson and the header drop into Reeves and Thompson gets it clear Grobelar goes up and drops it again and that's a penalty Thompson turning it over Grobelar made the mistake Kinsey fired to the top corner of the net and Thompson had no option but to do what his goalkeeper perhaps should have done in the first place and make a decent save Grobelar again sadly at fault then that dropping ball should not really have been a problem to him it was Kinsey fired to the top corner, was denied his first ever goal in first-team football by Thompson handling it over. Liverpool have brought their substitute on in that moment and now face the possibility of going 2-0 down and losing, perhaps at home, for the third time this season. Robin Bond, who in fact is yet to score since joining Manchester City, will not have a better opportunity to open his account than this. And his steward, of course, is the regular penalty taker. He's absent injured. So City could go two ahead here. And do. Kevin Bond scores his first City goal. Runs over to the small but enthusiastic group of City fans in that corner. And now Liverpool facing home defeat again. Robelar, the sad figure as Bond stepped up for the penalty, well, for a man who doesn't have a lot of experience of taking them, it was very sweetly struck, wasn't it? Right-footed, out of the reach of the goalkeeper, into the corner of the net. Alan Kennedy. Finding Lee, a good little knockback in to Sunes. And the shot comes to Whelan. 2-1. Eighty-two minutes gone, and Liverpool set up a grandstand finish with that goal from Ronnie Whelan, his first in the league this season. Kenny Dalglish up straight to Ace of Half, but now Tommy Hutchison for City. Good ball for Ransom. Kinsey wide on the right for him. And a fine ball. There's Kinsey. Francis screaming for it on the edge of the box. Reeves with a back flick, and it's gone in, and Grobelar's misery is complete. Reeves gets the goal, but really, it was almost an own goal by this sad figure of Bruce Grobelar. The ball coming back off the post, hitting him on the chest, and going into the net from Reeves' shot. The handshakes also for Kinsey, who played an important part. So, as Kinsey attacked down the right, the ball turned into that near post. Reeves did well to make the flick shot, but hit the post, came back, struck Grobelar, and went into the net. struck by an object thrown from the cop. I must say, I was looking at things going on at the other end. I didn't see what happened then, but it seems obvious that uh, something happened to Corrigan and that something was thrown from the crowd. And you can see there, in fact, what that something was. The referee, Mr Richardson, holding the bottle, which apparently was thrown from the cop and struck Joe Corrigan.